Chris LaRusso, the heir apparent. Thank uh, you for having me once great again. Great match on Sunday, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, that was, that it was, was a lot of fun. Some the, good uh, wrestling. The Young Lebanon some, Dawn. Some money throwing. Um, some... <laughs> Well, it's Black Diamond, and anything can happen to Black Diamond. I mean, I mean, you know what? You got got paid in wrestling, however you can, and I don't. I don't. So, so uh, the Lebanon Don Joey Moses likes. To, this is the second time I've seen him try to bribe the ref, like in you know, front, been, it, in front of all of us. He is undefeated in IWC. Really? He is yeah. undefeated. I don't know anybody who has started their IWC career from the school yeah. with such an impressive record. Really? So you know, are you, you're saying are you saying the uh, IWC officials are easily bought? Um, you know, I'm saying that if Justin Plummer paid his officials slightly better, I think that, you know, that would that would uh, help uh, dissuade some accusations of corruption yeah, and yeah, of, yeah, uh, uh, of bias officiating. Okay, uh, okay. Although, you know, we do have what I would say is the, the best officiating crew right now in the area with CJ Sensation and, uh, you know, Potter. So mm-hmm. Potter, who, Potter, who's, I think, next to, um, oh, God, I'm going to... I'm gonna screw up now. If I forget people, people are gonna be angry. Sean Patrick's a fantastic official. Oh yeah, got to put just over. Just saw Sean him Patrick. Saturday night KSWA too. Absolutely, and uh, you know, no longer on the independence, but another official I got to put over is Bryce Remsburg. Jeez, yes, yes. You know, uh, one of the the best refs in the in the game, and uh, hopefully we see some high quality officiating and wrestling here tonight. It, that, that is an interesting phenomenon. I can't remember uh, before the last several years being excited to see referees on TV. You know, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Drake Younger, of course, of CZW. He's been a, he's been a, a second in the you IWC. Know, I, I'm amazed that like they haven't done more with with, with Drake's uh, past. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I always thought that the fact that like he he, he had was that, he was hardcore. Oh, he was he very was hardcore. Death I, like, if, if any ref was going to go through a pane of glass, <laughs> or oh, you know, we're waiting for it. Or, or something. It, it, it would have to be Drake Younger. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, Jessica Carr, I know we talked with her. Um, I can't remember what his, her old name was, but we talked to her. When uh, she's still on Jesse the uh, K? Something? Uh, no, that was a different one, I no, think. No, no. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find it here in a second. Uh, but anyways, or uh, Aubrey, uh, Coach Aubrey, who I didn't oh, know yeah. about this. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Ref Aubrey uh, on AEW. She's coming from the video game industry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I didn't know that. I just I just listened to. Uh, thank you, Tina, for uh, sharing that interview uh, with her from uh, uh, the mm-hmm. past week. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, with Nat and Bryce, and um, I think uh, no- uh, was it Rick Knox? Knox, Knox mm-hmm. is from uh, Lucha Underground, I think. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, Kennedy official. Brink. That was her. N- Kennedy, yeah, Ken- Kennedy Brink. Yeah, Kennedy Brink. I have, I, yeah. Can I tell you a, a, a funny story? I think I may have said this on the Mayhem Show at one point. Mm. Kennedy Brink. Okay, so I was at a um, Ring of Honor trial camp, and I was crashing at Cheeseburger's place. Okay. Which so, is, the, which is an amazing sentence to begin with. So it was uh, myself, cheeseburger, um, a wrestler by the name of Cauliflower Brown, and Kennedy Brink. And you know, being gentleman, Kennedy got the uh, got the air mattress, and I was crammed on the couch with uh, Cauliflower Brown. So I remember waking up in the morning and looking over to my direct right, and there is the the lovely Kennedy Brink, and I'm like. There are worse ways to wake up. And I look over to my direct left, and there's Cauliflower Brown. <laughs> it's like... There it is. Worst threesome <laughs> ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oops. Which, of course... Okay, but before that gets that... No. We were just, just sleeping in the same room, but... Yeah, as you do in a, a purely yeah, what, platonic pro mm-hmm. wrestling uh, travel situation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, so again, we're talking about kind of the uh, the big week that was here. And uh, producer Missy, do you have something to say here? Go ahead and tell us the conversation there. I have a question. For you. Okay. Uh, so we're talking about the <laughs> we're talking about this big uh, Wednesday Night War, big premiere week. Yep. Uh, what 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 are your thoughts kind of coming out of this first week, whether it be the Wednesday Night War or kind of that premiere week in general? I, th- I thought it was great. I thought that both uh, NXT and AEW put on phenomenal performances. I thought the first week of TV was uh, really, really, really well done on both mm-hmm. ends. I think they both had a plan. Uh, I think they both definitely uh, had something they wanted to get across to the fans and a message that they wanted to get across and who they were and their identity and, and whatnot. And I think they did an excellent job of uh, of pushing that. Because you, you knew, when you watch the first 30 seconds of both shows... Yeah. I'll say maybe the first five minutes to include the promos and the introduction. You knew exactly what these shows were about, 
You know exactly what they were trying to get across. A lot of setting the tone. They really set the tone well. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, uh, you know, NXT, I, I, I think, has, uh, you know, and everyone's saying that, that, that you know, oh, AEW is the new thing. What about NXT being told with under three months' notice, hey, uh, not only are you on the USA Network, you're now going head-to-head -head with the stiffest competition in over a decade, mm -hmm. and you're going to be the, the tip of the spear in this war. Best yeah. of luck to you. Get to work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, so so you can say what you will about WWE or about the, you know, the evil empire. NXT didn't, didn't ask for this. No. And really stepped up in a very short period of time to put on high quality shows to get ready to go to national television um, you know so you got to give uh, you got you got to give NXT a, a, a ton of credit mm -hmm. you know everyone's talking about AEW as the as the the, the new hotness and, and perhaps rightfully so but let's give some love to to NXT for for what they had to go through in a very short period of time absolutely mm -hmm. so. I, I, I think in both shows they just killed it and, and NXT just again proved their uh, worth <laughs> and, and what I, I mean we, everybody gets to see Paul's show you know and I think that's awesome yeah you know, again as the focus is shifting with, with Smackdown on on, on uh, Friday nights and, and like okay how much live wrestling can I watch in a week uh, and still have a life let's be honest about this is wrestling is basically our life but anyways but uh, it's it, it is interesting it's like it's like what am I doing on Mondays now <laughs> yeah it's 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 great and you know I thought that I mean, I was obviously disappointed the way the Kofi match ended. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, I was I was hoping that we because you know Kofi wrestled Brock before in Japan. Yeah, and uh, I was hoping we'd sort of see something. I, 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 what I assumed we would see was that. I didn't even notice like an allusion to that either. Like I, I like it wasn't discussed. They just these guys have met before. This is happening. You know, it, it's like the Beast in the East was uh, was a big event. Yeah, that, that was also Balor and uh, uh, Steen. For uh, excuse me, uh, Owens. Yeah. Uh, for uh, I think uh, it was the a NXT title. Of the Finn's time. first uh, win. Yeah, title, and, and in Japan. In Japan, uh, where he was just coming off being big over there. So. So you know, I thought that that was a. Um, I believe that show also featured. Correct me if I'm wrong. Chris Jericho and Pac. Oh yeah, it did. I think it did. It did. Uh, Adrian Neville at the time. Adrian Ooh. Neville at the time. I don't know. Maybe he had a first name. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I I think that that Matt, if you a maybe that's just, that's worth a, a little bit of a, a deep dive to go back to was that under pay per views network special? Oh, we might be getting ready to go well, on the air. So. I think oh. they might be. I think they might be. Oh, Hank is on the move here. Oh, maybe just uh, we might be just talking to people. I don't Hank's know. Hank's uh, one of the best wrestling announcers enough, in the I biz. I believe our bell period. time is seven thirty. We're gonna hang on here in the live stream until it gets too too noisy. Uh, well, I, I but, definitely want to watch this uh, pre show match. I yes. Have a, I yes. have a vested interest in that. <laughs> so we'll see what's going on here. Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure. Always love being on the Mayhem Show. And let's get, send it to Hank Hudson. All right. <laughs> it's now time. Excellent. Oh, they're going to their play show.